Right. So I was thinking about I went to have my oil changed. They go these guys, you know, um, and uh, I drop off my car and I sit in their lobby because it doesn't take that long to change my oil on the car. Um, but this this song came on Huey Lewis and News. I want a new drug. Um, I want a new drug. One that won't make me sick. One that won't make me crash my car and make me feel feet feet thick. I want a new drug. One that won't won't hurt my head. One that won't make my mouth too dry or make my eyes too red. One that won't make me nervous, wondering what to do. One that makes me feel like I feel when I'm with you, when I'm alone with you. And so, you know, growing up in the 80s, and I've been on this part of, like, one one project I'm working on is like in the 80s, memories and using 80s music to trigger some of that. So I was really interested in the in the song. And, you know, one of the mechanics came in and was listening to the song with me. And he's, um, he's like, man, he just stopped for a moment. And just a moment in repose and just said, yeah, I wish... I had a new drug just like that. And it made me imagine, uh, you know, this, this mechanic, the lifestyle that they must live, I imagine, at least from the experiences from my uncles of the lifestyle they live as a mechanic. I'm thinking of one in particular. Uh, that, that's a intense life to live, you know, even within a small community, having the skills, you know, having gone through trade school, be like a really uh, competent mechanic and genius with car repair, uh, the, the, um, at least with my uncle, has this other life uh, relationship they have with their drugs and alcohol and lifestyle that goes along with that. And, you know, this genius mechanic, this complexity with relationship with drugs and alcohol and engaging in community and you know, all that. Um, so it was interesting. That, that little moment with the oil, get my oil changes, like, trigger this idea of, like, wondering – you know, that relationship with this song, I want a new drug, all the things that they want, but also the lifestyle of the mechanic, at least the indie mechanic and of my uncles um, in my life, how they were. Um, so that that was my, maybe that was projecting my memory of these uncles onto this one mechanic, expecting them to, you know, they probably have this, this lifestyle too as well. So. Um, I think I would... Uh, Go on to a, a poem. This one, you know, I've been thinking about it for some time. Um, you know, again, another half-ass uh, idea that, you know, um, wondering what if, what would happen, and also processing something, and, uh, for the most part, um, procrastinating. And so one project opens up because I'm procrastinating from another project or neglecting a project or abandoning a project. And so this is another procrastination project that, you know, caught me in the moment. And I just uh, been thinking about it for some time. Um, so th this, this piece is called Ode to the Body. Native bodies, body into nobody. Somebody, red body, a blood quantum body count. The body breaks at hand touch, poof. The body shop grease, face, shine, plug the body, peg the body. The body symbol is an asterisk on a stretch, raw chicken skin page. Some toss salad the body, a thousand, island, a thousand islands, archipelago drizzle the body, cat tongue the body. We can gentrify the we, Openly speak the body, the day, the brown, creamy body, strength and resistance source from the brown eye of the tiger body, public transit humid with the thick, familiar aroma of the open body, somebody bloom a rosebud, blown out like an elephant trunk, the balloon knot body, the leather cheerio body, we fear the righteously exploded body, the late night gas station burrito body rubbed sore. Body pucker kissed the desert. Body pucker kissed the dusk desert rain. 
disembodied poetics tissue fold the cleaning action, the body chasm barbed with matted hair, dingleberry crowns the body king, sensual and gentle violence penetrate the body, the body teeth gnash the body politic, snarl body grimace snap the McNeil McMansions, the fisticuffs, fisted body electrified under bedsheet firmament, the body gushes logoria in the doorless outhouse. Book titles. I sing the body electric, the three body problem, body of lies. My body is a book of rules, the body in pain, right along the body, our bodies, ourselves the consequence of my body, tale of the body thief, the body politic, a novel, the body keeps the score, the body artist, her body and her parties, her body and her other parties, the fact of a body, her body and other parties, written on the body, our bodies, ourselves, body, the Hard Body Chronicles, Body Rags, Love's Body, The End of the Body, Black is the Body, Stories of My Grandmother's Time, My Mother's Time and Mine, Body Metaphors, Body Indian, which is a play, Body Switch Collection, Volume 3, Body Swap, Erotica, Jennifer's Body, the teen novel. History of My Brief Body. Salt Body Shimmer. I am a body of land. Seeing the body. Body count. No meeting without body. So, you know, um, <laughs> for me, you know, part of the revision process is looking at these abstractions in our work that can be fail points in a strong line or creating a strong image. Um, so these abstracts, abstractions, you know, are they're great for placeholders that later on you'll go in and, you know, make the, the image more concrete. So for me, body, you know, in terms of what's happening in the, the conversation right now, either online or champion other places, the body is another one of these abstractions where it, to me it fails in so many ways that in these abstractions, I insert my own interpretation of what they may mean and make, I make it more concrete. And so for me, I switch the abstraction body into butthole. And so What if, and, and I'm hoping to infect other people with this idea, like when you hear someone say the body in the poem, you think, oh, you know, it's bland, same body, make it more concrete, it's butthole. So that changes your relationship with the poem itself. Uh, so native bodies, body into nobody. If body is butthole, yeah. And uh, some body, red body, a blood quantum body count, you know, there, you have the butthole image going on there. The body breaks at hand touch, poof. That one's a little bit more, you know, the poetics of the butthole. The body shop grease face shine. Plug the body. Peg the body. The body symbol is an asterisk on the stretched raw chicken skin page. You know, the little plus. There's, there's the. There's the body. Some, tell, some toss salad the body. A thousand islands are archipelago drizzle the body. You know, continuing the tossing salad on the body. Cat tongue the body. Folks have ever touched a cat tongue, you know, with that may, the visceral feel of the body with that kind of um, abrasive thing. We can gentrify the we, openly speak the body. And maybe now, now, now that we have this, the key to unlock this abstraction, this might make more sense. 
Bidet, the brown, creamy body. Strength and resistance sourced from the brown eye of the tiger body. Yeah, there, there's another level register of brown eye. If folks want to go there. Um, public transit humid with thick, familiar aroma of the open body. The, for folks who have been on public transit, we know the open body smell, especially when it's humid, thick in the air. Somebody bloom a rosebud, blown out like an elephant trunk. The balloon knot body. Again, you know, we're thinking about the asterisk there. Um, the leather cheerio body. We fear the righteously exploded body. The late night gas station burrito body rub store. Body pucker kissed the dusk desert rain. You know, more romantic with the body in the desert and for those desert folks out there, if they, if they know what I'm talking about. Uh, disembodied poetics, tissue full, the clean action. The body chasm, again, the body chasm barbed with matted hair. You know, as a Native American, I don't have that much hair, body hair, so that's a stretch for me in my imagination of what that may look like with the body having matted hair around it. Uh, Dingleberry crowns the body king. A crown of dingleberries. Sensual and gentle violence penetrate the body. The body teeth gnash the poet, the body poetic. Snarl body grimace snap the McMeal, Ma McMansions. The fisticus fisted body electrified under be bedsheet firmament. You know, being a little, uh, little purple there on the page. Uh, the body gushes logeria in the doorless outhouse. To me, that reminds me of back home when our, our, uh, our bathroom was out of commission. We had to use that house where it had no, you know, no door, which is comfortable and breezy, and especially a nice starry night. So th there's my, uh, hopefully, th uh, uh, this might be the beauty of memes is um, hopefully now everyone is infected with this idea of the body being a butthole. And now as you go forward and you engage or hear the body being spoken, you can make a concrete attachment to it and say, uh, that is the butthole. Your imagination explodes uh, with the possibility of what this may mean. So yeah, that, that's my time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my God, that's so fucking rad. Uh, thank you, Trina. Yeah.